Welcome to Morogo. So, welcome to the second day, or day one, I guess you could say yesterday was day zero of our Moroccan adventure. Today, we've got a couple things lined up in the city of Casablanca. We got in last night, we've got all day today, we've got it's about Casablanca. Ha Casablanca. <laughs> Ex excuse my pronunciation. <laughs> we've got some wonderful things lined up today, which I will have people explain. They could probably do a better job than me at the moment. Then we're gonna head out to Tangier on our bus. We have these awesome, this awesome transportation company that's taking us to all of these different spots, showing us all these different things to do. It should be a fun time. So if it sounds interesting to you at all, stay tuned. We've got some great stuff coming up. What are we up to, Jake? Uh, I'm looking at the mosque. It's very beautiful. Green is the spiritual color, the color of hope, color of life, color of Islam. But this is the tallest minaret in the world. Wow. You might read in some official books 210. So this mosque was just finished in 1993. It is relatively new. But the max capacity of what this building can see is 25,000 people at a time who can all pray. Imagine seeing 25,000 people in this room. That would be absolutely wonderful. Okay, first stop completed. How'd you guys like it? Yeah. <laughs> that was wonderful. And just something much different than what we'd experience in the United States. Quick uh, scenic stop. This is a beautiful park. This here is the Atlantic Ocean. And if you were to go directly across, point a straight arrow, you'd pretty much be in Miami. You'd be back in Florida, you could say. It's Which is pretty Miami neat. Vice. <laughs> right? official language spoken in Morocco is classical Arabic and classical Arabic has nothing to do with Moroccan Arabic Moroccan Arabic is a dialect it's only spoken it's not written people one of his main targets is to help the poor people yes. and he was the first Moroccan king who introduced his wife officially to the public we have Shout never out. seen the wives of previous kings. Mohammed VI has said the first Moroccan king who introduced his wife officially to the public. Her name is Selma. She was neither rich nor part of a royal family. She was a common girl. So as our tour guide was explaining, this is one of the king's palaces. He's got a couple different ones. I know for a fact he's got one in Casablanca. He's got one in Rabat. It's nice to hear that the king is doing good for people of all different um, income demographics. You know, she really said that he's doing a lot for people who live out in the desert, who live in villages, who may not have enough opportunity. It's nice to hear that they're being supported. To get the permission to go inside the hint, but it's also here against the evil eye, the, against the bad eye. There is a high population of pigeons at this park. So many of them. Beautiful fountain too. We are about halfway through our first day stopping for lunch at this beautiful restaurant right next to the ocean. I don't know if I can fix the exposure so you can see it. Look at that. Literally right by the ocean. There we go. Now you can see us. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are you guys first day going? So good. The smoothie's really good, but I don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. How are you guys doing over here? Good. This is really good. I loved the mosque. The moment I walked in, I was like, I was just speechless. It's so ornate and it's so like, I did, I almost cried. So it's just the beginning. We still have 16 more days here filled with stuff all day, every day, all over the country. Super exciting. This is just a taste. Yeah. 
and good morning from the back of the bus welcome back to day two of our travel bailey how are you <laughs> yay survey <laughs> survey <laughs> how are you guys doing good Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. Good, 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 Look good. Look at the beach. Oh, there's the, the beach. beach. There's so many people out there. Ready to shred the gnaw. Oh, yeah. Shred the what? We are all suited up, ready to go. They gave me a spring suit, and the water's really cold. I was hoping for a, win a winter suit, but we're going to go for it. We're going to give it a try. How you doing, Owen? Good. Good. Yeah, my <laughs> wetsuit is wet, so I'm freezing right now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be amazing at it. It's my second time surfing. Woo! So we've, we've got our surf instructors here who are going yeah. to take us out. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Nice to have you guys. <laughs> are you excited to have us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, excited. Yeah. It's very excited. Everybody over here at the surf sack. This is totally Joe, but it's actually Phoenix. Uh, what up, guys? Here. Welcome to the Joe Salcedo vlog. <laughs> <laughs> We're just chilling here, you know. It's a nice little view. <laughs> Joe, can't wait for you to see this. All right, bye. <laughs> this might just be the bougiest mall I've been in. Gucci, Zara. $500 sunglasses. I will observe and window shop. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, welcome back to Joe's vlog. Yeah. Today, it's again with Phoenix. And we're actually <laughs> at a shoe store that is really expensive. But this stuff is bougie in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> exactly, it is definitely bougie. Like this mall is like super nice. As you can kind of see, everything here is like really, really nice. Oh, like waffles. waffles. Look at the waffles. And Spider-Man and a balloon. I got yelled at for filming in the Gucci store. <laughs> Thanks for watching Phoenix's vlog. Moving up. Guys, moving up. <laughs>